Philippine University of Beirut Chemistry Department, Chem 216 Analytical Chemistry. My name is Hassan Balbaki, and these are my colleagues, Rim Romie and Gael Khoury. Okay. Today we will be working on, ex on an experiment that we did in our analytical chemistry lab, which is high-pressure liquid chromatography. The purpose of our experiment is to determine the concentration of acetaminophen and caffeine in the sulfadiene tablet and uh, the concentration of aspirin in the aspirin tablet using HPSC. So this is the outline. At the beginning we will talk about the procedures and how did we prepare our samples. Then we will talk about the role of the HPSC in the separation technique. After that we will talk uh, briefly about the machine's components. And finally, we will talk about the determination of the concentration of aspirin, acetaminophen, and caffeine uh, after we obtain the data from the HPLC HPS curves. First of all, we will start by preparing four stock solutions, each containing one of the four active ingredients, caffeine, acetaminophen, aspirin, and phenacetine. During this experiment, we will be using phenacetine as an internal standard in order to correct the errors. Then, using micropipette, we will pipette from each of the stock solution to prepare three standard solution containing all of the four active ingredients but at different concentration. Finally, we will prepare the sulfadiene and aspirin solution by blending the tablets and mixing them with ethanol and water to the line. This is the HPLC machine. Uh, first of all, we need to start it. We start it from bottom to the top, like that. Uh, it is composed of four modules. Uh, the first one, it's the power supply. Uh, the second module has two pumps. And the third one, it's the UV detector. And the fourth uh, module, um, uh, the screen, the display screen. And here, as you see, uh, that's our mobile phase. Uh, it is composed of uh, meth uh, methanol and uh, acetic acid, 60 to 40 percent. Uh, the, 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 the pumps uh, will press the mobile phase into the injector. So uh, this is our injector. With the syringe, we inject our sample inside. Uh, the, the mobile phase will come and carry our uh, sample through the loop. The loop will then uh, transfer our sample through the guard. This guard serve, uh, serves as our last uh, um, filter in order to remove every impurities in our sample. Then uh, our sample will move through the column. Uh, the, the separation, all of the separation occurs inside. Uh, the components of our sample, which are aspirin, uh, uh, acetaminophen, and caffeine, will be separated inside. Uh, because our stationary phase um, uh, contains uh, silica, which is extremely polar, and uh, embedded with uh, carbon-18, which is ex extremely unpolar. The, 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 highest, uh, the, 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 comp the compound which has the highest uh, uh, polarity uh, will, not, will not come in contact with our uh, stationary phase, uh, hence it will be uh, eluted uh, first of all. And the most, uh, 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 most um, non-polar will come in contact with our stationary phase, and it will be uh, eluded the last. Once uh, the compounds uh, uh, are filtered, they will, they will go out of our column and enter our UV detector. Uh, the UV detector will uh, measure their absorbance because they are organic uh, molecules. So this step will be about explaining the, about the software techniques. After we turn on the computer, we click on the class VP, which is the software that we will need to work on. We click on instrument one and we should adjust the username and the password. We log in. Then, this screen should be, up, should be applied with us. So we click on this first button to turn on the instrument. Then the second one is for turning on these two pumps. We should make sure that this pressure is around 200 bars. After this pressure will become about 200, we should, we should click on this button to adjust the specific wavelength that we need to apply, which is 20, 
254 here. Then we click download. Okay. And apply. Then we close this window. And we click on this for the run. We should name our sample, which is tablet 254 nanometers, and press start. So we click on this for the run. We should name our sample, which is tablet 254 nanometers. We click on start. We will wait for this instrument to write, waiting for trigger to foot in order to inject our sample. Uh, now I want to demonstrate to you how do I do an injection. First of all, I will inject from my uh, uh, standard one. I will do an injection for uh, two wavelengths, one at 254 and the other is at uh, uh, 225. First, before doing uh, injection, I need to rinse my syringe properly with methanol. Then I need to fill my uh, syringe up to 40 microliter. Okay, that's 40 microliter. I want to make sure that there's no bubbles at all inside my syringe. Now I want to insert my, sir uh, my syringe inside the injector. I hold my syringe with my left arm. And I mean, very careful when I'm detailing it. I press it inside, then hold the injector rotated to the right in the inject position, then I remove my syringe, then I return it back to the load position. After finishing uh, injection, a couple of signals will appear on my screen. You can see here the peaks. Uh, it will take eight minutes uh, until the first injection will finish. After uh, eight minutes, I need to start my second injection, which is also standard one, but at another wavelength, which is at uh, 2 to 5 nanometers. I will do the same thing for um, standard 2 and 3, and for my uh, tablet sample. Uh, here, uh, I want to emphasize something that we are using here two wavelengths, because uh, the maximum absorbance of uh, uh, acetaminophen and caffeine is at 254 and the maximum absorbance of uh, aspirin is at uh, 2 to 5. After waiting for 8 minutes, uh, we can see that we obtained uh, such a graph. Uh, there are uh, 4 peaks. Uh, we need to do an integration for each one in order to uh, obtain the area of the peak. Uh, you can notice here that the third peak, uh, which is for the aspirin, is not very clear because the absorbance is at uh, 254 nanometers. If we open uh, the 225, uh, uh, standard one at 225 nanometer, we can see that the fourth peak is much more clearer because the maximum absorbance of aspirin is at uh, 225. So um, by doing the same thing for standard one, standard two, and the standard three, we can build a calibration curve for each of uh, our compounds. Uh, after building our calibration curve by plotting the peak areas over the concentration, uh, we get three calibration curves for every um, active ingredient. Now uh, we need to open, uh, we need to see the signal of our uh, uh, tablet. Uh, we need to integrate for every uh, peak area. So for example, uh, this, the first uh, peak is for uh, acetaminophen. We take the peak area and we plug it in the uh, equation of the calibration curve of the uh, acetaminophen. By this, we can get the concentration uh, of the acetaminophen. We will do the same thing for the aspirin and the caffeine. Based on the results we got from the HPLC, we conclude that they are very similar to the theoretical one written on the boxes. Hence, HPLC is a very good uh, method and experiment in order to get the concentration of some compounds. Bye! Thank you. Bye! <laughs>